Um, I have wanted to do more like touristy things here in Atlanta you know, to really experience what Atlanta has to offer. I've been doing so much traveling lately and there's this exhibit down here. It's called Bodies. Bree and I, Bree is in town visiting. Say hi. Hi. I, I met Bree in New Orleans when I went down there. And we were trying to find something to do. So what did we decide to do? To go to Bodies, which to me sounds like the coolest exhibit ever. Yeah, we're going to go look at dead bodies. Dead I mean, ones. yeah. Artistically arranged ones. Uh, I guess. Hey, Hopefully I can film. I, I guess it's artistic. I think it's more, I mean, it is done artistically with the... More for information, it's for kind, education. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting blend of, of art and science, which you and I were talking a lot about, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Like, the two need to come together more, so maybe this will exhibit that. I don't know. We'll see. They wouldn't let us film the dead bodies. It was really, really disappointing. Yeah, I know. It, it, I don't know, but what did you think of the exhibit overall? I think I liked it more than you did. I thought it was Yeah, awesome. no, you definitely liked it more than I did. I thought it was a little better than average. I thought it was really, really awesome. It was. But, it definitely was not worth the money. No, it was. It was. But it was still. It was overpriced. I don't, for me, it wasn't. What do you think? It was twenty-four dollars a ticket. I think it was worth ten dollars a ticket. That's what I feel. Mm -hmm. I think it was overpriced, but you do have to consider how many people died to make that exhibit. That's true. A lot of people did die. So, there were a lot of dead bodies. There were. But they didn't look like real dead bodies, though. You didn't get the sensation that they were. Um, I didn't think so. They looked like fake dead don't bodies. You think they were real? I'm not I mean, sure. I believe they were real. I just didn't think they looked real. Uh huh. Maybe that. Maybe you separate yourself from it or something. It must be. Um, so bottom line for me is, if you're really into human anatomy, it's definitely worth the twenty-four dollars a ticket. Yeah. There it, were some really, really cool yeah. things in there. I'm only kind of interested in human anatomy, so it was kind of interesting. By the way, we're at a dog park right now. At, uh, I guess you can't tell. Yeah, well, they might not be able to tell. Right now, we're just sitting in a big oh, yeah, field of really cedar chips. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, we got a good game of... The most entertaining activity for me to watch dogs do is not any dog sport. And I've said this before, but it's chase. Watching dogs play chase mm -hmm. is the most entertaining thing ever. To me. Do you agree? I do. I find that I will sit down to watch TV, and then my dogs will start running circles around the couch, and I'll sit for half an hour and never turn the TV on. If they take the same pattern. There's so much fun to watch. Uh oh. Oh no. Too many. Okay, now it's getting a little. See the hair go up? Uh huh. I mean, that's the thing, though. You gotta watch it. And I mean, he's just telling them. Middle, middle I'm at this restaurant now. This is um, one, one of my favorite Mexican restaurants. It's kind of yeah, it's kind of a high-end one. I first went to it in D.C. Uh, and we have one here in Atlanta. It's called Rosa Mexicano. And uh, they come to your table and look at this. They actually make the guacamole. So those are the jalapenos and Jalapeno, onions. onions and salt. Yeah. So everything else before you put the avocado. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I make this into a paste. Bree's taking notes. She had the idea that maybe she could make some guacamole, so she wants to make sure she does it in. But this thing is essential right here. Yeah, the, the actual. Oh. It's a lava mortar. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's is made it? of lava. Yeah. Oh, and you think actually lava. me made of lava is important, not just the shape of the bowl? No, the whole thing is made out of lava. They, they make, uh, they grind the lava and they make them into a mold. They mm -hmm. heat them up so... But like, what if I made a bowl that exact shape, but out of something else? It might taste funny. It would taste different? Because yeah. lava's really porous. I mean, yeah. do you But after a while, it's just, I don't want to yeah. ask. The high pressure with uh, steam. So I was thinking maybe the yeah. secret flavor is like all the other guacamole. No. <laughs> well, I mean, at home it is. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I have one at home. And, so yeah. <laughs> oh, there's there's the good stuff. Yeah. Cilantro is the best part, I think. Cilantro. It's all the best part. Every part. Yeah, good guacamole is good. Tomatoes. So yeah, we're going to enjoy our guacamole and whatever else we get. I'm at Stone Mountain Park right now. I haven't been here in years. I mean, it's been forever. But Bree and I have decided we are going to try and conquer the mountain today. We're going to try and walk to the summit. That's what it's called, right? Mm -hmm. Bree's from Alaska. Oh, wait. Do we save that? There's she was no telling way. me that it's, it's like the thing you lay on someone 
when the conversation gets low. It's the best I've got, so I've got to keep it in reserve when it's really important. <laughs> right. Yeah, because it's unusual to be from Alaska. Only 700,000 people live in the whole state. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, not many people are from there. And it's the largest state in the U.S. So we are going to go to the summit of the mountain. And for, for Bree, it's probably just a hill, I was yeah. saying. I'm excited. It looks cool. Yeah. Well, Stone Mountain's, you know, it's a it's a hefty walk, but it's hardly mountain climbing. It's going to be a challenge. You say it's just a hill, and the next clip is going to be me dying halfway up. <laughs> I know. It's true. That's a good idea. Yeah, it's the largest piece of exposed granite in the world. Uh, it's also kind of a Civil War uh, tourist attraction here. I guess there's there's a lot of... Uh, political history in this area and as well. Carving, right? Yeah, big carving on the front of the mountain. So here's the beginning, right here. And we want to get all the way up there. Now it doesn't look like much from here. This isn't exactly the uh, the best angle to see the mountain from, but we're gonna do it. Okay. And this is the beginning of our of our granite. When you search. So you put it in how tall? And the first thing comes Justin up is Justin Bieber, Kate Middleton, Ryan Seacrest. Ryan the Seacrest is five six, I believe. Maybe five seven, five eight. I don't know. We're like the same height. I only know this because we went to the same high school. Mm -hmm. Um, and really, I don't know it. I guess. So we're climbing the mountain. I'm getting out of. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm already getting out of breath. We've been climbing now for quite some time. How long's it been? Uh, like three hours. Yeah. And I'm perfectly fine, so. It's five minutes. I don't know. But <laughs> for someone who works out every day, me, I'm not doing very well, guys. I really expected to be humiliated by Zach's stamina. Right. It's true. And I feel like we're almost right I think... now on the same level. I just think I'm going to drop out before you. So this is the first like place to stop and look, but it's not, I think we're about maybe 25-30% of the way up the mountain. What kind of wildlife lives in this park, do you know? All sorts of wildlife. Mountain lions? No. Um, I think we think birds. Deer? Squirrels. Yeah. And the deer. think birds. I like how I say think birds. birds. Squirrels? But what eats the deer? Something eats them. Nah. I bet you have it's not there. Deer would not be common here. Oh, not this. Not this much in the city. We're at the halfway point here. We have. Um, we're making it. We're doing pretty good. You're sweating. So. Yeah, I'm sweating. I haven't collapsed yet. Oh. You're not sweating, but yeah, you are. Yeah, I'm pretty out of shape. I think. No, I'm not out of shape at all. But no, no I mean it's it's a bit of a challenge. Though. It's a bit of a walk. We're getting higher. You can kind of see the city down there, the skyline of Atlanta. You know, and, and you know that you're doing like real rock climbing when they have rails installed on the mountain for you. Here. This, is, this is authentic adventure right here. Right. America knows how to do it. Yeah, exactly. There's handrails. We have made it. Um, we're sitting down right now, just looking at the, the view. I'll show it to you. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm going to go back up. Zach's abandoning me. Here's another view from the top. This is like the center. I'm going to do a 360. The toughest top. The summit of the summit. It's kind of, you know, it kind of makes you feel like you have not done anything special at all when you see this building at the top. This yeah. restaurant, it's like, oh. I mean, if they could build that. Yeah, but we could have taken the tram and we walked instead. Yeah. There's the sky lift thing. It, um, yeah, in case you wanted to not walk it. It's for the lazy folks. They don't open until 10 anyway, or else we might have done it. No, we're not lazy. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, what did you think of the mountain? I thought it was awesome. 
pretty cool, and right? You're not carrying me. No, I didn't need to do it. I do. We're at the bottom now. This is where we started. We did it. Uh, although, yeah, it's much easier than I ever remember it. I thought it was more challenging. Um, it was. A I might get a little winded at the end. Just the last like five minutes. Right. But yeah, that's I mean, about we right. We were almost there. Uh -huh. I think I did pretty well. Are you proud? I'm very proud. I think you. I think you nailed it. Good. Really good job. So now we're gonna go to the front lawn, like the main area, see the Civil War Museum, or see what's going on. I don't know. We'll find something to do. It's Stone Mountain. We're watching a movie right now about the history of the Civil War. What do you think? The opening credits were quite good. Yeah, it's true. Why am I being quiet? I don't know. The thundering echoes. There's absolutely no nobody in here. You're leaving today. I'm leaving today. Did you have a good time while you were here? I had a fantastic time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rubbing breakfast. Tour guide. Thank you. We did a lot. I wish we would have recorded more, but you know, we were it's too much fun. yes, it's true. We did have a good time.